Northwest Indiana has been able to cooperate on some major issues like redeveloping the shoreline and enhanced policing. One area where things seem to be going backwards, though, is public transportation. Though it looks like the South Shore will be extended, but bus service has actually gotten worse in most of the region. One area which has seen the worst losses in is in North Township, where the regional bus authority shut down. Let's talk about where we are now. We have North Township trustee Frank Mervan. Frank, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So after the RBA shut down in Hammond in 2012, North Township expanded its dialer ride to try to take up some of the slack. But what what happened in Hammond after the buses stopped running? Well, the immediate the immediate um, response or the immediate action when the buses stopped running when the RB, RDA or RBA no longer had uh, any type of funding was that uh, there were about 1,500 paratransit riders that no longer had transportation. So what developed, uh, there was probably a month to maybe 90-day gap. The North Township dialer ride continued to run. This is probably going on about three years now. And so what... In dialer ride, that's basically an on-demand service. You can call up correct. North Township and they'll schedule a ride for you. It's not like bus service in the sense you can't go to a corner correct. and they just pick you up. And the, and the two differentiations is between fixed routes, okay. and that, that is obviously one big bus traveling down the center of the road, like on Broadway and taking people from uh, the corner of Broadway and 35th to the corner of 5th and, and Broadway or somewhere through Gary. On demand is very specific where you call up 72 hours in advance, you call our township office, and then you're able to get a ride at your home, pick you up, take you to the doctor's office, and then bring you back. And this on is demand. all essential stuff. It's, you can't use Correct. it to go to work, but you can use it to go to the doctors, or maybe if well, you we've have no other way to get to, to a grocery store, you might do that, but well, that's about it. how things have evolved... Um, at North Township um, since the RBA went under <clears throat> from NERPC we were able to receive a 1.6 million dollar grant over three years which is a CMAC grant which ultimately is a carbon monoxide reduction grant and what it does is it puts you in the position to be able to prove that you can put a system together that would be viable in the community um, and what we tried to do with that is set the table and the, the pure numbers of what we've gone from in 2012 uh, we were at 12,125 rides, and in 2014, we were at 45,824. Yeah, so so it just four times, it's boomed. So we added buses. Um, we obviously were able to get this money, and, and the ultimate goal and what we're trying to do is provide the most efficient way of transportation possible, and we can go into how we've done that, but what it's proven is what the grant is supposed to do. It has proven that there is a need for transportation, and as long as you provide the system efficiently and effectively, people will be able to utilize it. All right, so the riders have always been there. Well, what happened to all those people that were using the bus service just to get to their job, to get maybe to a restaurant job in Munster or something? Correct. What happened to them? Um, a, a lot of them have had to find other transportation, and obviously there's a gap. But what I'm, And in some instances, what we do is we, if we have a point of interest where people need to get to their job two to three days a week, we're filling that need also. Um, we wow, have done which that. is really kind of above and beyond what you normally Correct. would do. As long as they call in and the funding continues to exist to be able to provide that ride for them. And the whole idea behind it is not only providing a transportation system, but in North Township, our ultimate goal or what we're charged with is to be able to provide poor relief. So if we're not moving people from their homes to their jobs, then they're coming in our front door at the township assistance side of things saying, hey, I can't get to my job. I, I have no transportation. I lost my job. I need help paying for NIPSCO or food for my children and for myself. So the whole economy of transportation is a vital part of our area. And I believe actually it's moving in the right direction. And I have some new developing kinds of things that are going on that I could share with yeah, you. Yeah, well, let's do that because you mentioned that three years of money you had, that is scheduled to run out pretty much any time. It, is ends, there up, any... it, it ends this year in 2016. Right. So then what had happened is I scrambled because I was resistant to take the, the grant originally because I knew after four, you know 24 months of providing this service and if we were able to elevate it and, and, and provide those rides, it didn't matter where the money stopped coming from as far as NERPSI and the CMAC grant. All people who were going to know is that Frank Mervan, the North Township trustee, stopped providing rides. And they've already been through that once before. That is that, correct. Yeah. So I was very uh, shy or hesitant about doing that. But once... This will, this will expire. We've had the help of 
actually Senator Donnelly and Congressman Vesklowski will receive two more additional years of CMAQ grant money. But it's with a serious charge. It's with the ability for us to work with East Chicago and Gary to be able to set up a uh, a system that would be regional and include also Velpo and the Chicago line and all those types of different things and also be able to feed into the new rail extension. So, um, Well, how we, are you going to do all of that with the kind of money you have when you're, you barely have enough money to run the bus service that, that you have? That is correct. So you have to be able to look for other sources of funding. Um, one of the hesitations when we took this was, and this is reality of politics, I felt that I was being cornered into the fact that NERPC was looking for a poster boy or someone to advocate for the local option income tax because a portion of that is for economic development. Right. So if you have funding for the train coming from the federal government and you still have economic development coming into Lake County, ultimately what you want to be able to do is present the case that public transportation is alive and well and that we have... We have set the table for people to right, see so that it's efficient so and effective. Right. So, and you certainly proved you got a market and everything, and Correct. you can do it. So, so what are you telling me that there is actually some plan underway to create a region-wide bus service again, bring back a, uh, some form of the regional bus authority? I'm telling you that um, the city of East Chicago, ourself, and the city of Gary are sitting down in the near future to be able to discuss what we can do collectively in order to be able to provide the most efficient service. An example of that where we have brought in Congressman Vesklowski and his staff to assist us is, and this is just logic, so Gary GPTC is now running fixed lines, fixed routes through Hammond, Munster, and Highland, which is North Township. They've They've expanded. expanded. That is correct. GPTC, or Gary Public Transit, is funded through Gary taxpayers, but they're expanding their route. And why they're doing that is because they're one of the last buses standing in this whole system, so they would be looked upon as the ones that would lead us through a regional system. That being said, as they're running through Hammond to go to Target or through Munster, there's that paratransit rule that allows, if you are do not have the ability to get to the fixed route and a fixed route is running through that the federal government requires that GPTC provide paratransit rides. We're trying to have the Federal Transportation Authority allow North Township to provide that for Gary so Andy Chicago because we're doing it already. Okay, so you'd be the guy who when you're elderly and you need to get to the doctors and you can call ahead, North Township might be the person that does that in Gary or Hammond. Or well, East Chicago. In East the Chicago. Only ex- the ex- and then Gary would be the provide all the buses. That to- is correct. So it's, it's Do you think that deal will work? We have to get the okay. Because what you have to do is what the FTA originally said was that you have to go to bid. And so the lowest bidder would get it. Um, and ultimately, there are different things that you have to, hoops you have to jump yeah. through in order to allow to do that. So but, why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? We only have a little bit of time. Why is this so hard? And why do we have such a hard time sure. doing this? Uh, well, there's multiple North levels. Ocean, even when there's all this money going to the South Shore to expand it to, into Dyer. Everybody's piling on board with that. But yet we've lost bus service here. So why, why it's so hard is because uh, there are a couple reasons. One is obviously prioritization of funds. People have to see a bus full, running efficiently and effectively. And unfortunately, if you're 32 or or 35 and younger, you're looking for communities and cities that you want to live in that have public transportation. But unfortunately, in our aging community, people look upon it that it's only someone other than themselves who need public transportation. We all have the luxury of two cars. Why it's so hard is because the priority prioritizing of the funds or the tax dollars to say this is important to us. Two, we haven't seen an effective or efficient system yet that would people would jump on board. That's what we're trying to provide. And three, there's a lot of South, there's a lot of people who think bus services pick people up from the North and bring them to the South and bad things happen. That's just a reality. Those are real life things that go on. So we have and, to overcome really not only changing? the perception. Do you see that changing? I and do see soon, that changing. And how soon do you, would you see something happen with Gary Hammond in Chicago where I, you might see? I have one charge within two years because I run out of funding at that point. So if I build up a system for it to be, drop on its face and us to go back to five buses, we're at 12. We're ordering two more tomorrow. That's 14. So we've gone to 
from 5 to 14. We also, what we've done to become more efficient is our overflow goes to AAA. So if we can't provide the buses, AAA picks those up for us and we have a contract with them. And on the dispatch side of things, we took our dispatching and, and have a, a, co- a cooperative effort with Prompt Ambulance. Right. They, can, they can launch a rocket from their dispatch center. So we're trying to provide the most effective, efficient way of providing the service all so right, that but this when thing people, is all rolling out right now essentially you correct got two years of funding we'll see at the end of two years whether that is or not correct you've got a system that's going to work and it's well. it is breaking news to tell you that with under congressman visklowski's um management or bringing us together east chicago gary and ourselves are moving in that direction we're sitting at a table nerpsy will be brought in ourselves Private industry will be brought in to see how we could best run, and we will begin to map that out to be able to have a plan to be able to go to the public and say, this is our plan, let's prioritize it. Because if you have a train station, what you're getting at, if you have a train station and you don't have the ability to get people who need it most to get there, then it's it's running at 50%. Right. So you have to have buses to be able to move people to the train station so that they can access the second largest global economy in the world, or third. There you go. It's all it's all integrated. Well, that's that's amazing news, given the fact that we've struggled so much with this issue. Well, we're going to have to end it right there. North Township trustee Frank Mervan, thank you so much for being on. Thank you, Steve.